So today we're going to separate alcohol and water that are both mixed together in the same container. The difference between alcohol and water is their boiling points. Alcohol is going to have a lower boiling point than water, and so if you were to boil the two together, what will happen is the alcohol will evaporate first and the water will be left behind. And lastly, we're going to be using salt that's going to allow us to separate the two and actually allow us to see the separation in our container. So the materials we'll be needing for this experiment are the following. Any container that can hold about 500 milliliters of liquid, uh, the bigger the better, some salt, isopropyl alcohol, and of course, we cannot forget about the water. The water has already been measured to about 250 milliliters. And then we are going to use a Sharpie that will allow us to visualize where the alcohol is and where the water is going to be in our mixture. So let's get started. We're going to pour the water. Next, we're going to get our alcohol. Now, alcohol and water are said to be what we call miscible, and that just means that these two liquids can be mixed together. Salt is considered an ionic compound, and it is a polar substance, and so that's what's gonna allow us to see the separation of water and the alcohol. So I'm just going to mix them together for a little bit. So notice how when you look at it visually, you actually cannot see where your alcohol is and where your water is. They have just mixed into this uniform composition. So in order for us to allow them to separate, we are going to add our salt. The salt has already been measured. I'm going to mix this up again. Make sure we don't see any more salt particles. Now what will happen is the salt will actually dissolve in the water. And then now we're just gonna allow this to sit and see if we see any separation. If you look closely, you can already see this bottom part right here is salt water and then this layer that you're seeing up here forming is your alcohol. So we're just gonna allow this to sit for a little bit so that they can separate further. There's really a lot going on here. You've got two different substances with two different boiling points, two different compositions, and two different densities. This is actually why we're seeing the alcohol layer up above the water because alcohol is slightly denser than liquid water. We are going to use this Sharpie just to add some color to this mixture that we've created. The thing with the Sharpie is that it is an organic compound and it's able to dissolve in alcohol. We're just going to add just a little bit. So now you can really see that layering more distinctly. Some of the Sharpie that's dissolved in the alcohol has stayed where it's at. And that is because again, the Sharpie can dissolve in alcohol. So the reason why we're seeing these two different layers of pink is that the entire mixture actually has alcohol in it. It's just this part up here, this top layer, has more alcohol content than you do for this bottom layer. You could take this a step further if you'd like and get your syringe or obtain a syringe and then just take out the top layer. And basically we'll be leaving some salt water behind that in here. In this container right here, we've got water. And then in this beaker, we've got the alcohol. We could actually boil this solution. And what will end up happening is you'll see that the water will evaporate and the salt will stay behind in the form of salt crystals. Till next time.